lifestyle item of the day right now. We've been talking about it since we started the show. It's all about hair loss and something that has come as a remedy to hair loss known as hair transplant. Yes, so just like you go into a surgeon, a surgeon does, you know, that what he does best when you're doing a heart transplant or kidney transplant, that is actually something that you can also do to your hair as a remedy to hair loss. So today we'll understand the basics, the ABCs of this particular uh, new trend in our country as uh, we get to understand what are some of the things that we need to know that uh, are causing hair loss and also some preventive approaches that we can use uh, to prevent hair loss, especially around the hairline, something that a lot of ladies are complaining about right now. So with me in studio this morning, I'm joined by two guests, and one is all <laughs> represented in his outfit here looking like a doctor, but he's a didactari <laughs> wanyele. His name is Tiffy Nomolo, a trichologist, a hair specialist. He'll be telling us more about uh, himself in a bit. And then we have Ruth Ondiso. Yes, and your patient, the one we have in studio. Yes, and your Akonashida <laughs> Yanuele. Yeah. Issues with hairline. And we will be, you know, looking at her and asking her a few questions about some of the things that she does. As Dr. Tari will help us know the state of her scalp and what can be done. So this is what we want to start right away. Let's talk more action. Uh, but uh, before that, let me start with uh, Ruth. Uh, probably, thank you so much for joining us uh, in studio this morning. Okay. Tell me a bit about, um, you know, your favorite style. Like when you go to the salon, what do you do on your hair? Mostly, mostly. Uh, mostly mm -hmm. I do braiding, braiding. brushes, mm -hmm. and uh, once in a while maybe lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but weaves and wigs, I don't do a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So mostly it's braiding, mm -hmm. rasters and lines. Okay. Yeah. Like how long do you stay with one hairstyle? How frequent do you change? Uh, for around one month or three, one weeks. Month? Yes. three weeks. But for lines, I stay with it for two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. So after two weeks, you change, you yes. put in another style. It's but not three. so frequently. Okay. Uh, I like staying with natural hair. Mm -hmm. So after maybe braids and then when I, I undo, mm -hmm. I remain with my natural hair mm -hmm. for around maybe one month. Okay. Yeah. All right. So braiding. Ah, yeah. So Stephen, welcome yes. to the studio. This Thank morning. you, Stephen. And uh, you've heard from Ruth. Yeah. What she loves is yeah. braiding. Yes. Occasionally a month, three weeks, two weeks, then yeah. she changes into something else. And yeah. Mostly the braid ten. Happy weeks yeah. and weeks. Yeah. So tell us a bit about uh, this thing hair loss what is the, mm. the thing what, what is that what are some of the causes of, of hair loss okay thank you thank you Sabine, for having me again mm -hmm. i think hair loss is some is is one of the one of the issues most ladies are really facing especially if you if you look at uh, our ladies their hairline most of it you, you find that the, the the hair is not usually very 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 full or thick yeah mm -hmm. and it's mostly because of like one two three things eh? mm -hmm. braiding is, is, is one cause of, of hair loss on the hairline, especially mm -hmm. if it is not done in the right way. There are ways it can be done in the right way, and there are ways it can be done in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you find that the hair on the hairline, usually, for most ladies, is usually very, very weak. Yeah? So it, if it is subjected to a lot of tension over a period of time, they usually just give up eh, and just come out together with the follicle. Okay. So we, we will take probably you're having a permanent hair loss if you've been losing hair in a certain portion of your, of your scalp or your head mm -hmm. for more than six months and that hair is not growing back. Oh, okay. Then most probably it is a permanent hair loss and that, that one will probably ask somebody to, to, to seek help from a psychologist. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you mean permanent hair loss? Like it will never grow back? Yeah, permanent hair loss means the hair was pulled together with the hair follicle. Hair follicle is the root of the hair. It's what produces the hair that we see on the outside. Yeah? This is the dead part. The living part is usually under the skull. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So if it is pulled together with the hair follicle, it means that hair can never grow on that area. Mm -hmm. Unless it is reintroduced again mm -hmm. through some of our procedures that we do. So w this 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 belief that uh, ladies have been made to to believe that you know you can if you stay like if you have you've lost hair around your hairline yeah. if you stay without braiding for some time then it will naturally grow back. There's no science behind that. Or There's if no you use a wig that. for some time, using it will a wig, grow back. Using a wig will probably just make it worse. Uh -huh. Because as long as tension is braiding is still done on this hair, on the hairline, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're likely to lose more if it's not okay, done correctly. Okay, okay. Usually I advise ladies that if you have to braid, braid like one centimeter behind the hairline so okay. that you don't subject this weak hairs. So what do you do with the front part? Won't it be like 
bushy and unpresentable if you not like really one centimeter. Usually, usually. or uh, I'm a, do you relate to <laughs> i don't relate with it because for me <laughs> i always do it maybe from the scalp yeah yeah immediately yeah close to the scalp yeah, yeah. because if you do it one centimeter away yeah. trust me it it will it will be it will go bad easily easily usually if you look at the hair on the hair they usually very 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 thin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and very soft mm -hmm. compared with the rest of your hair mm -hmm. so even if you leave it you just apply some oil to make them sleep oh, on that area okay, like it looks pretty well hair. yeah it looks pretty it looks probably more intelligent but mine is hard that. it can't sleep on the mm. scalp okay okay mm. so what's our so uh, i want you to look at take a, a look at her you yeah. tell me that first thing you need to do before you begin even the process of hair tra transplant yes. is to assess the state of the scalp. Yes. Probably I want you to take a look at her scalp. Yeah. Uh, she's uh, here this morning just to, so that we can yeah. know like what's the state and uh, okay. what are some of the things that you would recommend. All right. Yeah. Yeah. With me is my tracheoscope. This one help you just to see your hair better, to see beyond what my my eyes can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So probably I ask you to probably come come near here. Mm -hmm. I'll just turn uh, mm -hmm. and set up my machine. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if the camera is going to really see it. Like oh, maybe uh, you can turn the machine. Yeah, we we'll, yeah, we'll try and turn the, the machine. So one of the camera can just probably we'll get it and then we can have here. the shot on the screen. Yeah, yeah, come here. Yeah. Because I also need to see what I'm doing. All right. So usually when you come to my clinic, we, you do a consultation. Maybe you can move here, Ruth. Okay. And then, yeah, he can get like to that. Move here. There. But I need to see this. I need to see. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can get this for this a little bit. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. You, you can get it, yeah? Yes. Okay. So, so what, what I do when you come to my clinic, I do some trichoscopic assessment. This one will help me know whether you're having permanent hair loss or you're just having a temporary hair loss. Mm -hmm. Even from the history, I'll be able to tell whether you're having a permanent hair loss or just a, 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 a semi-permanent. So, so when, when, when you come to my clinic, usually God gave you your best hair at the back, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is the, only, the area I use to, at least to check if, uh, how your hair should look naturally, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the way God intended it, yeah? See, mm -hmm. that trichoscope, it magnifies like 200 times, so mm -hmm. that you're able okay. to see well. Mm -hmm. So that's how our hair should look naturally. So the back actually the, the gives back, you a picture yeah, give of me a how picture it should be. Yeah, because if you, if you look at... Rarely do people lose hair on their back, on the back. of their head, on okay. the occip occipital region. Okay. So that's the area we use, we use actually to, 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 to say how your hairline should look, should as look well. like. Yeah. Okay. But just, uh, if you just look at her hairline before yeah. you even put... Even, yes. what, 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 what can you say about, I'll about say there's the some situation there's a, going there's on? There's some kind of hair loss. <laughs> Yeah. I would probably say there's some kind of hair loss, but uh -huh. I'll use a Is it trichoscope. too bad? It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. For I, as, unfortunately, it's not too bad, mm -hmm. but the others were worse than this. Well, yeah, okay. yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. Kipara. Yes, Sounds Kipara Kabisa. <laughs> okay. Yes. So that's yeah. how our hair should look like. If mm -hmm. you look at the trichoscope there, mm -hmm. that's magnified like 200 times so that mm -hmm. you're able to see better. Okay. okay. So we already know now how our hair should look like. So when you come to the hairline, we, s we can see what's happening. Mm -hmm. See, the hairs on the hair are usually very thin. Eh? As you can see on the, on the trichoscope, yeah? Mm -hmm. And if you look at the distribution mm -hmm. and the growth, most of them are growing like in I one I wish we could one. get the, 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 the shot of the, get, of, the, yeah? of, the, uh, on the of the machine there, there, just yeah? for us to also see, see. like how the, it yeah. is magnified and to see the state of the, of the hair, yeah. to get the difference between it what is, is in the, the back, back and uh, what is in what's the front normal part. and what's not really. Yes. That, that's the back area. Yes. If you look at it maybe. Yes, yeah. That's magnified like 200 times. 200 times. Yeah, so that, that is the so back. Yeah, so that we're able to see nicely with the eyes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's the back. That's how our hair should look like. Uh -huh. So when you come to the hairline, we can be able to tell how the, the hair. The difference. If you look at the hairline, it is the, the distribution is not so good. Eh? I don't know if my eyes are right, but yeah. I, I could tell there is a bit of scatter at the front yeah, yeah, it's a little and bit at the back yeah. it's a bit full. The back is, yeah, there so are a lot of strands at the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so our hair should be, the hairline should already look at just as the back. Okay. So this man tells me there's some hair loss, especially on the hairline. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if it has been happening for more than six months, then I would say it's probably permanent hair loss. Permanent hair loss. Yes. Okay. And that will require hair transplant. Hair transplant. It is permanent hair loss. Okay. Yeah. So, like, uh, are there any other options before hair transplant? Because when you use the word transplant, mm. I imagine <laughs> surgery and it is, it's some something very simple. <laughs> it is something very simple. Yes. No, people should not be afraid of it. It's simply <laughs> taking hair, a few hairs. From the back of your hair where you have your best hair, and then we just bring them here. Mm -hmm. 
and the front where we get the roots here. So what we do, we just numb the area first. Mm -hmm. For numbing the area, we just do it as we are talking, as we are st uh, taking stories, listening to music. Mm -hmm. this, this, this is very, 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 very self, self procedure to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 sometimes it takes a little bit of time, maybe four hours plus, six to seven hours to mm -hmm. do it. So after we numb the area, we just do it without you feeling any pain. Okay. We just talk against the, the, the middle, middle part of the, of the head? The Is there part. any difference between the back, the middle, and, and the front? Yeah, there's really a Is big there difference. There's a major difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you'll find Some that most... Some people say uh, the, the hair grows longer at the back, at the, the front is, it's shorter, mm. and it's like... They do not really understand. The scalp is the same. The scalp is yeah. the same, but at the Probably back... Probably you can, you can have a seat as we have a have seat. Seat. Okay. Basically, at the back is where you have your best hair. That's where God gave you your best mm -hmm. hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where your hair grows really fast and really well. But if you look at the back of your head, the hair is usually less disturbed, mm -hmm. maybe by braiding and those other things. And even those people who do braiding, they usually focus more on the hairline because the hairline has to look very neat. Mm -hmm. So they focus more on the hairline. At the back, nobody is seeing it. So they just, they are very gentle at the back, mm -hmm. yeah? So that's why God gave you your best hair. Most hair back. diseases you'll find them, they'll affect the hairline mm -hmm. or the crown oh, of okay. the head. Okay. Rarely will they affect the temporal regions. Mm -hmm or the back of your head, really. Okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, uh, Ruth, uh, have you interacted with this hair loss issue? Maybe your stylist, has, have they told you about some of the things that cause hair loss? Or personally, are you careful about using certain products that you've had cause hair loss? From uh, where you sit, what do you think causes hair loss? Uh, the reason as to why I do mostly natural hair, it's because of maybe braiding. Because you see, when they're plating your hair, they pull so much from the hairline. Mm -hmm. So that's when you, you'll find uh, issues of hair loss. Actually, I didn't have hair loss before, mm -hmm. but when I started doing braiding, and it uh, started. yeah, it mm -hmm. started mm -hmm. uh, getting off uh, from my scalp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has your stylist been concerned with this? Have they told you anything? Not really. When someone <laughs> is doing something, what, what she or he is interested in is money. Is money. She, he wants yeah, to make money. So most of the times, actually, when I go to the salon, I always tell my saloonist not to pull so much mm -hmm. from the scalp, mm -hmm. uh, from my hairline. Yeah, so that's what I do most of the times, mm -hmm. so okay. that I cannot have hairline issues. Okay. Uh, they say that if you pull so much, the hair will grow faster. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> There's no really science to back that. <laughs> that it's it just a belief. <laughs> or that it will not spoil yeah, quickly it if is it is tightened. It is just a like belief. So that it stays longer looking neat. Not is that, really. is no, that right? No, no, no. That's not right, actually. It's okay. just a belief. Okay, let's talk mm. about hair transplant. Mm -hmm. um, so is, it, is, is this picking up in our country? It's something that many people do not even know much about. Tell us a bit about it. It is something, it's something that is actually new. Uh, in our country, but it's not new because we started doing a transplant in this country like three, four years ago, and from then it's picking up. People are getting getting to to know about it. That if you're losing, if you're having certain hair conditions, the best person is a trichologist, and the the only permanent permanent uh, hair restoration strategy is is, is hair transplant. Mm -hmm. If you've lost hair completely, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. People, we are, we, are, we are also fighting to create that awareness mm -hmm. so that people can actually see that it is very, very safe and it can be done by us Africans, mm -hmm. even for our people. Actually, we are the ones who specialize with our, our people. Mm -hmm. African hair is usually very difficult to, mm -hmm. to restore, even to if you restore. go out there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that Have was you heard of hair yeah. transplant before? I haven't heard of it. Actually, it's my first time <laughs> getting to hear that there is Other hair that we transplant. even have trichologists. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are coming back to continue with this conversation in a bit. We are taking a short, a very short commercial break. We are coming back, so stay right there in case you're a patient and you are having a severe case of hair loss. You will be told what are some of the things that you ought to avoid right after this particular break. <laughs> 